the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, really good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into this Canelo thing. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys stay in tuned on social media, I'm sure you do to some degree, but how is this loss going to affect Canelo's legacy? Um, we're going to get into that, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day. <coughs> Guys, I'm still sick. I'm still trying to beat this. Um, I'm still trying to beat this. Um, eight to ten minutes a day. Follow quick hits. Uh, quick hits because I hate them today. Follow uh, Texas Boxing Scene as well. The other channel completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get into um, Canelo here. This was interesting, right? Canelo's only other loss was. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather, about you know eight years ago, nine years, nine years ago, it's been about nine years, um, and you know he's had uh, a draw with uh, Triple G since he's had a tough fight with Laura, he's had a tough fight with uh, you know the second fight was a tough fight, um, and he had a tough fight with Kovalev, which he eventually knocked him out in the eleventh round. <laughs> Uh, but he's, well, other than that, he, it's been smooth sailing for him for the most part. Jacobs gave, took some rounds, but, you know, nothing serious there. Um, so this was shocking. Does he even get beat up? Because let's be real. Dimitri Mavol B- B- beat him up. Um, I had it 10 rounds to two. I'm seeing a lot of nine to three. I am seeing 10 to twos. I'm not seeing anyone really scored. Well, I guess I've seen a 115, 113. But I'm seeing most of people who watched it had it wide for Canelo. I mean, wide for Mavol, which is how I saw it. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the judges. They, they got it right, uh, but they tried to give it to Canelo, which I, I, I'm just not a fan of that. You know, Canelo lost the fight. It was clear as day. Um, but Bavol beat him up. You know, Bavol had his way. And, and there was a – what I liked about what Bavol did was he just didn't go and retreat the whole time. I've, I've always said you're not going to beat Canelo this way. Look, you're not Floyd Mayweather. You're not Arisande Laura. And Canelo is not Canelo from nine years ago. He's a much better fighter. He's a much better fighter, period. Um, you're not going to beat him that way, right? He's, you're going to tire. He's going to get inside and he's going to stop you. He's going to beat you up and stop you and not run from him for 12 rounds. Now, I wouldn't stand in with him for three minutes to 12 rounds either, but in spots, you're going to have to. You're going to have to establish yourself. And that's exactly what Bavol did. Bavol fought a masterful fight. Bavol fought the fight that Triple G tried to fight in the second fight. And he tried. He's fighting the fight that Kovalev fought before he got knocked out, but he executed it and he got through the night. So where does this leave Canelo? It's a really good question. Um, it's Canelo, he'll come off by pound for pound until he gets another win. Once he wins, he gets a good win, um, which I do think he'll beat Bavol in the rematch, and we'll get into that. But he comes off by pound for pound. But what does this do with his legacy, right? Like, what does this do with Canelo's legacy? Um, I, you, I'm hearing a lot. He's a duck. He's a uh, cherry picker. I mean, guys, he became undisputed at 168 pounds in a year. He's got wins over everyone. He's got a win over Triple G. He's got a win over Arison de Laura. There ain't no other fighter in the sport who has a resume anywhere near what Canelo has. Can we just be real about that? He's got a win over Danny Jacobs. He's got so many wins. Um, a win over Kovalev, right? Um, a win over Kodo. Uh, he, uh, he's got so many wins, guys. I mean, there's no one else. In the, just, those names right there, Kovalev, Kodo, Danny Jacobs, Arison de Laura, uh, Triple G. You guys want to call him a duck? You're being absolutely ridiculous. I, that's all there is to it. You want to call him a cherry picker? You're being absolutely ridiculous. He went up to 175 to fight the champion because he, well, he became undisputed at 168. Like, think of the absurdity of what you're saying, right? Like, Charlo or Castano is about to be undisputed at uh, 54. If they go up to 60 and fight one of the champions, they go up to 60 and fight Triple G. Are they ducking? Is that a duck? You, you see the absurdity in what you guys are saying, right? Like, there's no way it's a duck. You, just look at Canelo's resume. Give me one other guy 
who has a resume like that in the sport of boxing right now. You know, the next closest guys are Chocolatito, Errol Spence. They are distant, distant, distance from where Canelo is. So, what does this do to his legacy? I don't know. Does it knock him? I've said for a while now, you got Chavez, who's the greatest Mexican fighter. Um, you got an asterisk near Salvador Sanchez, and then you had Canelo. Canelo had already passed Barrera and Morales and those guys. I still believe that. I, I don't think this knocks it down. I, I, I think the haters are going to hate. I, I think once Canelo starts winning again, which I think he will beat Bivol in a rematch, we can get into why or why not. And there's a good argument that he won't. And there's a good argument that Bivol is better. And because of the size of it, it's, it's natural weight class. And okay, we'll find out. And we're going to find out. And like if Canelo was a duck, Canelo would just say, uh, he's too big. I'm, an, I'm not a 75 pounder and go back down to 68, right? Floyd did this, went up to 54 and beat Canelo and Cotto and De La Hoya. Right? Those are his three wins at 54, I think. That's incredible, right? But he was never, you know, the, the, he was not a 154. I think going into the fights, Floyd would weigh like 151, right? Like he was not a 154 pounder, but he was so great that it didn't matter. <clears throat> he, he could beat the guys bigger than him. Um, Canelo's great. He's just not quite as great as, you know, as, as Floyd. And, and that's okay. Who's as good as Floyd? Nobody. Right? So, I don't think this really tarnishes his legacy. I, I think the haters are going to, you know, rear their ugly heads for a while. And Canelo will right the ship. I, I don't think Canelo's done. I don't think he's washed. I don't think he's behind him. Um, I, I think we've all executed a perfect game plan. I think Canelo will figure out how to get back and he'll win this. Um, just because he's not as good as Floyd doesn't mean he's not great. Like Kobe's not as good as um, <coughs> Kobe's not as good as Michael. Durant's not as good as Kobe. It doesn't mean they're not great. They're still the best of their era. Right? But they're just not as good as the guy that came before him. And that's okay. Right? Like there's nothing wrong. Whoever becomes the next best quarterback after Brady retires is not going to be as good as Brady, most likely, right? Whoever that is, Mahomes, probably, right? Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, one of those guys. The guys are great. Are they going to be as good as Brady? Probably not, right? And it doesn't mean that they're not good. It's just the guy that came ahead of him was, was you know, goat. Um, and then everyone's out second-guessing Canelo, like, Y'all pick Canelo to win. Everyone picked Canelo to win. I picked Canelo to win. Some people thought the ball would be competitive in the fight. So hats off to you guys. I didn't really think he'd be that competitive in the fight. I thought Canelo would, you know, I said the ball's high level basic. And he's got really nothing for Canelo. And I thought Canelo would probably stop him late. He didn't. It's a masterful performance from the ball. So hats off to the ball. Really, really good job. But I, I don't think this tarnishes Canelo's legacy. You know, yes, Canelo comes up the pound for pound list for now, but I feel like he's going to be back on once he picks up a win. And I do think he'll beat Bavol in the rematch. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day. Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it is May 8th, 2022. I am still sick as a dog, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.